Shalom everyone, welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry. See my eyes? <laughs> Actually, I cracked myself up on these replays. <laughs> welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry or ministry international videos. I'm Kenethia J or Kenethia Johnson. Welcome back. I'm going to do a slight prayer. I try to see what I was looking for. Oh, that's a good one. The Holy Spirit disinfecting our minds. <laughs> it's just some background music. So anyway, the Apostles' Creed. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray and say what you want me to say. Get off by your Holy Spirit. I thank you for this word. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. This is going to be a very groundbreaking. No, it died. I use this phone. This is going to be a really good word. It's new to the church. God is doing a new thing. He says, will you not perceive it? So, first, I have to pull up the Apostles' Creed. I forgot my computer was dying. Sorry. I can start to say it, though. Switch accounts. I don't know why I keep doing that. I believe in God, the Father, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell the third day. He rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. And from there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Catholic, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the Christianity Church, the forgiveness of saints, the resurrection of the Lord God, Jesus Christ's body, and the life everlasting. In the almighty name of the Lord God, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And then the last thing I had did. So, the Lord was speaking to me the last, like, I don't know, week about what I'm getting ready to say. And so finally, I had a dream last night. And so, it was doing what I was doing this morning. I was brushing my teeth, but in the dream, I didn't know the Lord was speaking to me. And so when I woke up, I was brushing my teeth, of course, and I was just like, I had this dream last night. And then the Lord started speaking. So here's the word. I'm so excited to release this. This is so new. Ecclesiastics 4. Oh, gosh. 412. What's the scripture I got? Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That is so awesome. It's <laughs> so awesome. Praise the Lord. The value of having a friend. Ecclesiastics 4 verse 12. Though one, he says to say what he said first. Okay, so back in the days or during a different time, Hallelujah. He said religious. That's all I heard. Religious. <laughs> it's the Holy Spirit. During the time before marriage, men and women, they were deep not to speak. They could not. They had to be together, um, but they couldn't speak until the day of the wedding. And so the Lord is releasing us from that what you call it rule <laughs> it's not a commandment it was a rule bought by the forefathers it's not even from God because God says it's not good for no man to be alone and so that was more so a religious rule from the forefathers in the church 
but nonetheless, we still was obedient, okay? <laughs> we was obedient, but the Lord is releasing us from that rule. You can pray and speak and confirm this word with the Lord. That's the best thing about our God. Our Heavenly Father speaks to all of us. And he tells us the same thing. We are being released from not speaking before marriage. And for some of us, that's going to feel um, a lot better because God is really arranging these marriages. And so to even have like a conversation to know who you're getting ready to marry, it makes a big deal in your heart. You're going to feel different about the marriage. You're not going to be so anxiety thank you holy spirit fearful pressure like you're gonna feel like okay this was god this is bad amen lord your husband is getting ready to call you your husband to be is getting ready to call you i receive it for myself they're gonna reach out to you and the Lord said, whether it be by way of social media or a phone call, this person is getting ready to reach out to you. And it's so that you, you guys can be friends at the end of the day before you just jump into that. And so Ecclesiastes 4 verse, verse I even do 9 through 12. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. Labor. For if they fall, one will lift up his companion. Okay. But woe to him who is alone when he falls. But woe to him who is alone when he falls. For he has no one to help him up. Thank you, Jesus. This is the Holy Spirit again. If two lie together, they will keep warm. Amen. Amen, Lord. But how can one be warm alone? Though one may be overpowered by another, two can withstand him. And a threefold cord is not quickly broken. Ecclesiastes 4, verse 9 through 12. The value of a friend. The Lord said we are no longer deemed to the rule of not speaking to our companions. My babies are kicking. My husband is coming. We are no longer deemed to the rule of not being able to speak to our husband or wife. God says cut it out. He wants us to speak. He's doing a new thing. Will he say, Amen, Holy Spirit? He says, Will you not perceive it? The second part of this message is for the other party. <laughs> Crap. What was it? Oh, oh. I saw it was it's a two-parter it's based off two shorts I made maybe about a week or so ago the Lord says it is time and when you see somebody that you like and you feel his Holy Spirit convicting you that it is okay reach out to the person so you don't lose your chance you don't know who want this man. You don't know who want this woman. Or maybe you do know. The Lord says reach out to the person. He is, he is, can't, thank you Holy Spirit. He is canceling the rule that says we cannot speak before marriage in the church. It is better to have a friend says the Lord two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor <clears throat> welcome as you come in so by the Holy Spirit in the almighty name of Jesus Christ I seal this word go pray confirm this word at your prayer altars or in your quiet space with the Lord even though you know I'm right <laughs> The Lord is funny. I pray y'all have a blessed day. And dear Lord, thank you for this word, our Father who art in heaven. Thank you for your joy, your peace, 
May it stay with us. May we keep you first. Even though two are better than one, may it be a may it be a cord of three. Us and in you, Lord, the one. In the almighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. That is not easily or quickly broken. Thank you for releasing us and blessing us. Thank you for your glory. Thank you, Jesus. I am grateful. In Jesus Christ, almighty name. Amen. Shalom.